Aye, mateys, Captain Kernion here with a fabulous story about a book-loving bunny. It is called Henry and the Buccaneer Bunnies. It was written by Captain Carolyn Crimmy and illustrated by Captain John Manders. Enjoy. Cruising the seven seas on a crickety old ship called the Salty Carrot sailed a wild, rowdy band of buccaneer bunnies. They were bad, bad bunnies, all right. When pirates on other ships saw their long, floppy ears and their fluffy white tails, they shook with fear. The captain of the Salty Carrot was Barnacle Blackear, the baddest bunny brute of all time. Blackie was proud of his wooden paw, his golden earrings, and his mean reputation. What Blackie was not proud of was his son, Henry. Instead of performing his proper pirating duties, Henry was more interested in reading the books the buccaneers stole from other ships. Shout, shiver me timbers, Blackie ordered. I'd rather finish this chapter, said Henry. Make this prisoner walk the plank. Can't I just read about it? asked Henry. Find yourself a parrot for your shoulder. First I need to read up on parrot care, said Henry. Buccaneer bunnies don't need books, said Black Ear. Toss them overboard, he yelled to the other bunnies. No, wait, cried Henry. Let me just finish them first. Avast, cried Black Ear. Swab the decks until ye come to your senses. And so Henry swabbed the decks day after day while reading some of his favorite books like Rabbits and Crusoe and 30 Days to Longer Ears. Bet you can't learn how to do this from a book, Jean Le Hare said while sharpening his hook. Henry sighed and turned the page. You'll never find booty like this in a book, Calico Jack Rabbit told him, holding up his stolen loot. Henry shrugged and turned the page. Can't do this with a book in your paw, Bartholomew Bunny said while sanding his peg leg. Henry just turned another page. As much as he loved his books, Henry was a lonely buccaneer bunny if ever there was one. Then one morning, he looked up at the red sky and wriggled his little pink nose. He heard the parrot squawk and saw fish jumping out of the water. If my books on meteorology are correct, those signs mean a big storm is heading this way, he thought. Henry tried telling Jean Le Hare about the upcoming storm. Excuse me, but I believe a storm is coming, Henry said. But Jean was too busy polishing his pieces of eight. Go back to your books, Henry. He tried telling Calico Jack Rabbit. I'm pretty sure a storm is on its way, Henry said. But Calico Jack was too busy admiring his tattoo of a cabbage. Don't bother me now, Henry. Finally, Henry cried. Batten down the hatches! A huge storm is coming! What do you know about storms? Blackear demanded. Get back to swabbing the deck before I make shark bait out of those books of yours. Henry did as he was told but he kept his little pink eyes on the skies. When he saw the rats abandoning ship, he started packing up his books in empty treasure chests. The storm started small, a few low grumbles of thunder, a spike of lightning, then suddenly a crashing, bashing, thrashing wildcat of a hurricane broke loose. It shook the ship. Suffering sea dogs! It mangled the masts. Great blimey bilges! It slashed the sails, damaged the deck, and ripped the rickety old salty carrot. All that was left floating on the choppy waters were a bunch of soggy bunnies and Henry's treasure chests filled with books. 
When the storm finally calmed down, Blackear, Henry, and the rest of the buccaneers paddled to the nearest island. We're ruined, wailed Blackear. No ship, no pieces of eight, no gems. He sat in the sand and blubbered like a lily-livered landlubber. But Henry got to work. The first thing he did was build a two-story hut out of palm fronds and coconuts. How did ye learn to do that? asked Black Ear. I read it in 101 Things to Do with Palm Fronds and Coconuts, replied Henry. Next, he built a fire and cooked up a tasty seaweed stew. Blimey, said the hungry bunnies. Where did ye learn that? I found the recipe in Quick and Easy Meals for Maroon Pirates, said Henry. Then he made them all fetching garments from the bits and pieces he had salvaged from the shipwreck. We look like gentle bunnies, we do. What swank swashbucklers we are. Arr, and it's all from them land-loving books, said Black Ear, shaking his head. Henry taught Black Ear and the buccaneer bunnies all kinds of useful things, like how to plant carrots, make the best sand castles, and build boats out of palm fronds. Soon, they built a new ship, which they sailed to the library at the nearby Easter Islands every summer. Here, the bunnies spent many happy hours slurping seaweed stew and reading books. Ay! Buccaneer bunnies will always need books, said Black Ear. Henry just smiled and turned the page.